I have a very stable recreational kayak, which works well for videotaping. My paddling buddy, Daniel Boone, yeah, that's his real name, and he is related to the original guy, owns two performance kayaks. He gave me a chance to try them out on this trip, and unfortunately, I just could not get used to them and spent most of my time trying to stay upright. Carrying my video camera, cell phone, and other objects, I'm never anxious to end up rolling the kayak. Struggling with this and the commercial fishing boats that continued to speed past us caused me to lose lots of my video. I don't think the commercial fishermen have much use for recreational boaters on this river. It's uh, about uh, 10.30 on October 11th. We're at the, what they call the Chaz River from the uh, campground. We're getting ready to go out and uh, explore the river. I have my paddling buddy Daniel Boone with me. Fortunately, last time I was here, I paddled around quite a bit, trying to figure out where I was at. He's got a lot more experience, so should be a lot more organized today. All right, we're in the Seven Sisters, and I'm right above. Danny tells me I'm right above a cave here. Let folks swim through and come out over about where he's sitting. Give you an idea how clear the water is here. And I'm in a new kayak today, which is not as stable as what I'm used to, so my uh, video shots may be a little shaky for a while. Okay, we're going to go back out of here and head downriver, I think. Okay, we're out of the Seven Sisters Springs. This is the campground you see over here on the on the left, and we are going to go over to the right and go down that channel and uh, see what we can find. Okay, Danny tells me we're in Bard Creek on the way to the slot. It gets pretty shallow in here. Uh, a crack, I guess they call it. Yeah, the creek is a big crack at the head spring. A lot of trees down today, every place we've been. Okay, onward. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up in a reach here, but you can see how the channel narrows down. It's only about five, six feet wide from here, so it's going to get interesting as we go into here, for sure. Well, we're working our way up the creek here, having a lot of fun with the current, a little bit of bird life and fish. That's about it so far. No mosquitoes, thankfully. Well, the water turned kind of murky back in here. The current doesn't seem to be as bad, but straight ahead, kind of between, you see two palm trees on either side. Danny tells me that's the canal we're going to work our way into. We just passed some people in the canoe with three kids. Just came out of there. Well, we'll work our way in. Well, we're working our way slowly up. Not much current here. Water's clearing up a little bit, and you can see how narrow it is on, on both sides and it's getting pretty shallow. Well unfortunately we've pretty much run out of water and space kind of narrow and shallow so we've gotten out of the boats and we're gonna walk through some of this and see what we get into. Yes we believe is the Blue Springs and right ahead there's what's called a crack which is the Head Springs Water's crystal clear here. It's a beautiful swimming hole. I'm going to try to scan all the way around without getting too shaky. And this is where we came in. On foot, pulling the boat. And again, crystal clear water. There was some fish in here when we first came in, but we pretty well chased them out. I'll go get it later. What a beautiful little spot. Here again is something you'd never see from land. If you don't get out on the water, you would never see this. Beautiful.
might not show up so well on the film here, but the, this is the spring evidently underneath the log here. Well, we took a little rest in the uh, in the headwaters back there, and now we're back in our footpath, walking our way back out. Okay, we're back in the kayaks and ready to paddle our way out of here. I'm coming on your left. Whoa! Okay, we're just about out of the channel, back out into the main river. Got a big houseboat sitting up here. Riding back with the current made it a little bit easier. Trying to catch this blue hero up here without scaring him off and by the same token trying to keep this boat steady. Got my hands full. We're back in the main channel. Heading on to the next attraction. Spook him, Danny. Ah! Okay, you... a quiet little cove just off to the right side of the Potter Creek Channel. Got some birds frolicking down in the distance. Water's calm in here, clear. My problem is I can't get used to this kayak I'm in. Getting late in the day and a cold drink and a sandwich is beginning to sound good, so we decided not to go on to the Potter Spring. But we are going to go down the main channel here all the way, as if you can see in the distance. There's a, uh, looks like an old dock or something down there, but there is a, uh, supposed to be a, a landmark there, an old sunken sailboat. We're going to go see what that's all about. Well, we're back across uh, from the entrance to Potter's Creek, and we're uh, trying to paddle our way back the campground where we launched from and we are having a lot of fun with the wind that's really giving us fits. So we're gonna have a pretty good pretty good workout getting back. Well coming to the end of another paddle. Just around the uh, trees there is the 
campground where we launched, so that's what we're looking for. Well, we're back. And the cold drink and the sandwich can't be too far away. Been a little bit busy day out here today. This is the first time uh, that uh, I personally have had to put up with fishing boats or in a hurry. They don't have much concern about recreational boaters. But uh, other than that, it's been another beautiful day on the, on the Florida waterways. For more kayak stories and to post your favorite kayak story, click the button below.